there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited to have you here with me today for another Shop With Me Saturday. Yes, these are the items that I've bought probably in the last maybe week and a half and some of them are really wonderful. I would say mostly the video is about shoes, but to show you the shoes, I did want to show you some outfits and I have really been studying style lately because I've been trying to improve upon my style. When I was a younger girl, I always wanted to be a well-dressed person and, you know, I think I was an okay dressed person, but I'm really trying to learn the rules behind style to kind of up my game a little bit. And in this case, as I think you'll see, one thing I have learned is combining kind of, kind of upscale types of things like blazers. I guess upscale is the wrong word, but professional kind of things like blazers. I wore them in the 80s and 90s, and quite honestly, when I try to wear them like that now, I really don't like them that well. But one thing I'm doing is I'm learning to get those blazers a lot more casual and I find that I'm really able to wear them more and I'll be explaining that in the video. But before I get into that, I did want to show you my outfit of the day and here it is. It is a Barbie girl t-shirt and I love this. And actually I do have two friends, probably my two best friends, and we have decided we were the Three Musketeers and we changed that to the fact that we are the Barbie girls and I bought them all t-shirts, all two of them and me. And so you will see this later in the video because it can also be put under a blazer, which is a little out of my comfort zone, but I've kind of gotten used to that. And if you're not yet a subscriber to the 50 Plus Beauty family, we talk about everything here. Good, bad, sad, it doesn't matter. Today we're into joyful purchases, which is always fun, but I would love to have you subscribe to my channel and or give this video a thumbs up. Okay, these are the clothing and shoe items that we'll be discussing today in the shop for the Saturday haul. And it is quite extensive. And as you'll see, most of these items are really sort of like the items that you would find in a capsule wardrobe. A tan blazer, a black blazer, a good old white tee, love that t-shirt, a blue and white striped shirt, some other t-shirts. And then these are all the shoes that we'll be combining with the outfits. And there's a purse that I got this past week. It's a Tory Burch. Absolutely love it. And then I'll be showing you a couple of more purses that mix and match with everything here. And I am learning a lot about style. And I'm very excited to kind of share what I'm learning with you. So let's get going. Okay, before I get into the outfits, I did want to show you a few kind of really good buys that I absolutely love. Let me see if I can find them. Okay. Okay, this is something I didn't know about. And these are little sleeve garters is what they're called. I have never had them before. And they're like three pairs on Amazon for $10. I don't know why they don't make them clear though, because like if you use these garters with a blue shirt, it's maybe going to show a little bit. But this is what is enabling me to bring my blazers down a notch and make them wearable for me in the second half, because I don't want to be that professional starched looking woman wandering around. I want to put on a blazer and maybe a t-shirt and some white trainers, as they say in England, and these have really helped me. I love them. Now, another thing I'm doing in my second half is, for those of you who follow my channel, you know I had a hip replacement about almost, well, it's four weeks ago to the day, and I'm doing very, very well, but one thing I have decided to do, and it really isn't just for my hips, uh, for the comfort there, it is really because I am sick of carrying huge bags I used to always carry huge bags filled with everything and they were very heavy and I don't think they're really that much in style anymore. So I'm trying to up my bag game and get into some smaller bags. And to do that, I got rid of my makeup bag in my purse and you can get four of these on Amazon for maybe $10, but it is a little tiny mesh bag. It's very good condition. And basically what I've done is I've paired all of my makeup down to my necessities and uh, like right here, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in a mini size. And there's a little powder puff in there. There's a little blush in there. There's a concealer, there's a lipstick, there's a lip pencil and a lip gloss. That makes it easy to fit all of this makeup into my purse. And I'll be showing you that later in the video. And another thing I absolutely love is my wallet was always bulging with everything and it was too big for my smaller purses. And so I ended up getting two of these and I'll show you these later in the video, but these are card holders and I don't like the card holders that hold two or four cards. I just can't handle that. Each one handles eight cards 
It has a little bill place to put your bills in or your coins. And what I've done is I have all of my essentials in this one, like my driver's license, my debit card, all of the cards, my, my health insurance card, that kind of thing. And I love the little Tory Burch logo on that. Absolutely beautiful. And then in this one, I have my cards, like I have my Starbucks card, I have other gift cards, I have a Jose Peppers card that still has something on it. And basically, I love this because I will always put this in my purse because these are my essential cards, but I don't necessarily have to take the gift cards with me unless I just need them, but I think these are lovely. And one thing you're going to see continuously throughout this video is this belt. And I've shown it one time before, but it is a total essential to me and I absolutely love it. This is a Ralph Lauren belt that is reversible. You can just do this. It has a little logo there, but you just take the buckle and all of a sudden it's cognac. All of a sudden it's black. <laughs> and basically it is leather. It is super good quality. And I think it's around $40. And I absolutely love this and I highly recommend this. Sometimes it's very important to spend a little more on things like leather goods, like to have a nice purse, doesn't have to be a designer, but a nice leather purse and good leather belts. You will have this belt forever and it is one of my best purchases. And as you'll see in the video, I use it a lot on almost every outfit. Now, another thing you'll be seeing throughout the videos is this wonderful little VC set of sunglasses here. And these are wonderful sunglasses. And I think they're a knockoff of a Gucci design, but they are not plastic. They are made out of glass and high quality materials. Absolutely love them. This is their Camilla design and they did send this to me. I specifically requested this because, oh my, how cool is that? I think no matter what sunglasses you have, it gives you just a little bit of mystery, a little bit of glam, but I think these are absolutely beautiful and they have become my go-to sunglasses. Okay, the first outfit I'm going to show you is this black blazer outfit. And this is a blazer that I got at Zara. And I find the blazers at Zara last a long time. They're excellent quality, they are lined. This is a look at that blazer, absolutely gorgeous. It's a totally classic style. It is not one of those super oversized, but yet it's not super tight the way they used to be. Then I have it paired with this wonderful Uniglow t-shirt. And don't get the Supima cotton one. I've written it down below the video. I don't like those. They're not as thick as these, but these are fantastic. These are just the little crew neck t-shirts. They're a little bit longer than your waist, maybe about three or four inches though. You can really tuck this in a very thick, good quality t-shirt. This one is $9.99. And I've had some of these t-shirts for two and three years and they're still going strong. And I have that paired with some really neat jeans. These are the Levi's Wedgie Straights and they're in a 26 regular. It's the first year that I've ever bought white jeans. For some reason, I would try to buy them and I never thought they looked good. But the trick to this blazer, to this outfit, is making it more casual because Quite honestly, I had that black blazer in my closet for a couple months and I never even wore it because I tried to wear it like it did in the 80s and 90s and it just looked too stuffy. And I have added this gorgeous Teddy Blake bag. It has the name there in gold. Absolutely love this. This is such a classic, beautiful bag and I've had this probably three years and it still looks as good as the day that it came in. But it has this beautiful gold hardware. It has the pebble grain leather, which I've since learned is the best leather you can buy if you really want your purse to last a long time. It has a wonderful little zipper in the back. And again, that gorgeous logo. It is absolutely a beautiful purse. And I think this is the perfect color to blend with like black accessories. Something about this just does not clash with it, but it really blends rather well. I really kind of like the way I have it styled here with these Madewell leather tennis shoes. And I really have not gotten that much into wearing white tennis shoes, but I've started to do it recently and it really is fun and it's super comfortable. And one thing that makes it more comfortable is this little insert I have here. And this is the Easy Feet Superior Comfort Insert. And these are only $29.95. I'll show you the insert. Basically, you put this in your shoe and you can cut it down if it's a little large for your size. And what this does, well, number one, those tennis shoes are a little bit big for me, but when I put this in, the tennis shoes fit beautifully and it basically just gives my feet kind of a feeling of comfort. This particular insole is designed for you just to feel better all throughout the day. It gives you cushiony comfort. You can see her below. It's got cushioning here, it's got cushioning here, and basically it just helps your feet feel like you're walking around 
on a very supportive pillow. And if you have foot pain, this is a wonderful addition to really help alleviate that. And again, these are only $29.95. And with the discount code 50 plus beauty, you can try them at 20% off. And I say try them because number one, they have a one year warranty, but even more importantly, there is a 90 day money back guarantee. So if you try these and don't like them, you have 90 days to return them. But I have to say, I absolutely love these. And getting back to that outfit, I am really, really surprised that number one, I'm wearing the t-shirt, I'm wearing the very casual trainers, I love the fact that I've learned to push up my sleeves, and that is a trick I plan to do on all my blazers because anymore, a straight long sleeve blazer just feels hot, it feels stuffy, and it just doesn't feel relaxed. And I still have on the white wedgie jeans. I don't know why they call them wedgie. I feel like it means that you're getting a wedgie when you wear them, and that is certainly not the case. I have that along with this wonderful little Amazon top. It's a halter style, which I absolutely love halters. It really is in kind of a classic print though, with the black and the white. I think it's black. It almost looks blue. I, I think it's black though, but I think they also have it in blue. And I have that half tucked. And then I have on that reversible belt on the black side. Again, this is very, very versatile belt. And to coordinate with the black and white polka dots, I have the Kelly and Katie black flat sandals on the bottom there. And I love these, they are super comfortable and they have a gorgeous gold logo right there. And they are in black patent leather, which really makes them a little fancier, a little classier. But the thing I really like about flat sandals is you look like you're relaxed and you're not out there to impress anyone. You just threw on your flat sandals to be comfortable, but you're looking fabulous doing it. Now I still have on the black and white polka dot halter top, but this time I've added some very, what I consider kind of ugly black flat sandals. However, I have learned through watching other YouTube videos, I watch a lot of different YouTubers and I'm also reading on this, that it is very important to not have everything in your outfit be all one way. Like with that polka dot top, that's kind of a feminine top. If I took it into a very feminine pair of jeans and very feminine sandals, then it's almost gag me. It's a little too much. And so the contrast is really nice. And that is what these sandals do. And initially when I bought them, I wasn't sure that I really liked them, but now I really do like them because look what it does for that top. It takes that very feminine top and adds a masculine element to it. So you've got the feminine plus the masculine. I really think that is a good look because it looks so relaxed, so effort-free, like you just threw everything on. You want it to feel comfortable and amazingly enough, these look great. Now, this next outfit is super simple. And again, most of these things you already have in your closet. This is very much a look at kind of a capsule type wardrobe approach. All of these things are simple basics that most people have. And the next outfit is really just kind of sh to show you this beautiful Uniglo t-shirt. And I wish you could feel this fabric. It is the thickest t-shirt fabric I have found. And yet it absolutely drapes beautifully. And I have it paired with my favorite Levi's straight jeans. They're the high-waisted 724 straights. And then because this is such a casual outfit, I chose not to wear a belt at all. I actually put on a black belt and it just looked too fussy. Hey, in the next outfit, I'll be taking those 724 high-rise straight Levi's jeans. I'll be leaving those on, but I'll be adding a different Uniglo t-shirt. And this is the black and white striped t-shirt. I guess that's pretty obvious. I absolutely love this. This has kind of a French look to it to me. And I think a striped t-shirt of any type of color is something that you really do need in your wardrobe. And if you're like me, it's probably already in your closet, but I absolutely love this t-shirt. I've got it half tucked there, I believe under the blazer. And the blazer is one of my favorite recent purchases. This is an Everlane blazer and it costs a little bit more than some blazers, but Everlane products last forever. It is this beautiful tan color, kind of a camel colored blazer. I love the black buttons. I've really come to find out that that helps my accessories blend in better. It is fully lined and it is a little oversized, but not too huge. It's not like you're wearing, you know, your 300 pound linebacker husband's blazer. It is just a little bit oversized, which I really believe that super oversized look that we had a couple of years ago is really relaxing. It's really going back to a little more of a classic blazer. And then I have on that reversible Ralph Lauren belt reversed to the black with the gold buckle. And I have these beautiful mules. I absolutely love these. These are naturalizers, so they are super comfortable. They're that cognac color inside and they are black leather on the outside. 
on both sides of your foot. Here's a beautiful suede here, and then it has the shiny black leather. And the thing I particularly like about these mules is the shape. It has a really up-to-date shape. It has a square toe, but I never did like those square toes that were about like this wide and they made your feet look huge. I thought those were so ugly and clunky and just ugly. But I like this particular square toe because the pointy toes, as much as I love them, they're going out a little bit, but this kind of blends the best of both worlds, kind of like they crossed a pointy toe mule with a square mule, and they got this beautiful kind of cross between the two. I have big feet, and these mules really slim my feet down and make them look very slender and nice, I think. I also like the heel, that rectangular heel, very up-to-date and very current. And again, even though I'm wearing a black leather belt and the black mules, I am using that Ralph Lauren cognac colored purse I have it in black too, but I really think the cognac just gives you a nice contrast and somehow the golden tones of that purse look wonderful with a camel tone blazer. Okay, the next outfit I have is da 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 the Barbie Girl t-shirt. And I've got it half tucked into the 724 Levi's high-waisted straight jeans. I'm not having a belt because I really didn't want to overdo on that. And then I have it paired with these beautiful Madewell leather trainers. And I used to call them sneakers or tennis shoes, but I like the European way of, of calling them trainers. And I just think these are absolutely beautiful. And as the name implies, they are made well. They are 100% leather uppers. And I really just think that a clean white tennis shoe that's leather really elevates even a t-shirt. And in this next version of this very casual outfit, I have taken it up a notch by adding the Everlane blazer over it. And again, I have the sleeves scrunched up to just below my elbow. I never like my elbows to show because they are definitely not very attractive. And I love how a blazer like this can just be thrown over any graphic tee you have in your closet. And all of a sudden that t-shirt gets upgraded to a very stylish outfit. Okay, I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but I have a secret here that I've been using for about the past week in some of my outfits. I have to admit, these are a full cup size and you may wonder what they are. It says, woman's secret bra inserts extra cup is what it gives you, an extra cup. And basically this is what is inside that little package. And I have noticed that as I've gotten older, my boobs are beginning to shrink. And sometimes it's not pretty because with the carnivore diet, I've lost so much weight that I've gotten thinner. And unfortunately, my boobs are going down too. But I ordered these and I absolutely love them. They feel absolutely like breast tissue. I mean, it's crazy. And they really do give you a full breast size. In fact, sometimes I think it may be a little much because, you know, I think Alan would notice a little bit. But basically what you do is you put these just in the inside of your bra and they stay there. They kind of stick to your body all day and it gives you a little extra boost if you need a little more confidence in that area. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and I've been reading from these Super Attractor cards by Gabrielle Bernstein. There's the lid there. Okay, let's go ahead and choose a card, hopefully something positive to think about for today. Okay, here's our card. Okay, this is what it says. When I make joy a priority, brilliant ideas will come naturally, support will surround me, and movements will form. When I make joy a priority, brilliant ideas will come naturally, support will surround me, and movements will form. And you know, that is so funny that I chose that because that is exactly the shift in my life lately. I have decided that I had goals my whole life. I had goals and objectives and plans, and I was dieting, I was working out, I was doing whatever in my life to reach my goals. But recently I've realized that at this stage of my life, I'll be 65 in about a month, that it's time not to get on the treadmill and reach for yet another goal. The time is to sit back and really just enjoy my life and to feel joy. And you know, actually I was thinking about what my real goal would be and my goal on a daily basis anymore is just to have fun, to go from thing that I have to do to thing that I have to do and change that to thing that I get to do to thing that I get to do and have as much happiness and joy and make it as much fun as I possibly can. So this card is wonderful and it reminds us that when we make joy a priority, wonderful things happen in our lives. And if you're at the same phase that I am in the second half, I hope you'll consider making joy and fun one of your highest goals. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.